this episode, you'll see I am fabricating windows for the cabin. And I'd first like to talk about tolerances. Uh, I try to get everything within a sixteenth of an inch, and usually that works out pretty good. But a lot of this lumber that I'm using is number three and, um, and sometimes better. But I bought it for budget reasons. And you'll see that also the saws I'm using here, I've also purchased those for uh, budget. Um, they don't cost too much to get into, and if I kick them around, I'm not going to be too sad about it. I didn't want to burn $1,200 on another saw that was going to maybe get wet, uh, get, you know, beat up. And so these Ryobi saws are going to get me to the next level, and I'm happy with the tolerance here. So in case you were wondering why... I'm doing things the way I'm doing them. Number one, I don't have a shop and I don't want to waste the money on um, high-speed equipment that I'm probably going to damage out here in the elements.
For those of you who are not familiar with using data blades on a table saw, you'll see here that I am switching out my standard saw blade that came with the saw, and I'm going to install a set of dado blades. This combination set will allow me to cut a channel down the one and a half inch edge of my rails and my styles of my windows. And uh, this is known as dadoing or uh, you know, making a dado cut. So that's what you'll see happening here. And in the uh, rest of the video here, you'll see me putting a dado in all of these components of my windows. So once I'm done running my rails and styles um, over the dado blade, I've now got a nice channel that is even all the way around and you can see I'm now installing the framework around my uh, custom made uh, dual pane windows. Now you can order these dual pane windows at just about any glass shop and in my case I had them send these away to have them filled with argon gas and then I went back and picked them up and simply uh, built the frames for them. But there you go, low E windows, custom built. So I'll admit I wrestled with this opening here a bit. Even in the short time that I have built the window openings and framed them all in, um, there has been a bit of shrinkage and these two by 12, uh, the two by 12 casing, if you will, um, or kind of the framework around the window here has shrunk and cupped a little bit. And so I struggled a little bit from the left side to the right side, had to make some, some little tiny fussy changes uh, in order to get these windows in. On top of that, I haven't figured out exactly how I want to hinge these yet. And so I'm doing a pretty quick and hasty uh, stop system around the inside um, just so that I can tack these in <clears throat> and make sure they fit. and and uh, get a sense for how they're going to look.
So there you go. They look pretty good from the outside, but we still have some decisions to make about how they will hinge and install some hardware. Also have doors to build, so stay tuned for that and hope to see you again soon.